Hello everyone, I'm Jayshree. Welcome to another tutorial by Chains and Loops. Um, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I just put patterns out there for you to hopefully enjoy. If you've subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, please do. Um, so let's begin. So for this tutorial, I'm working this really easy crochet cropped top and it's got these um, shoulder straps or bands. So the yarn that I'm using is, well, actually thread that I'm using is this crochet number five and it's 100% acrylic. Um, this is a 50 gram skein and the recommended hook is a two millimeter hook. However, if you're thinking, oh no, this is such a difficult thread to use, it's it's easy because I'll be doubling up the thread. So when you double up on thread, it becomes much easier to use, unlike working with um, the one strand at a time. Um, because I'm doubling up on the thread, I'll also move up to a bigger size on my hook, which is a three millimeter. So um, it's a top down pattern and we'll begin at the neckline, working our way down the yoke and um, a bit of the body of this top. Because it's a crop top, remember we'll be stopping short. You can decide on the length of the top that you're looking for. That's not a problem. It can be altered to accommodate different lengths. And then um, once that's done, we'll complete the top with these bands at the or straps that you see at the shoulder I'll now working a medium as well and for anyone out there looking for a different size from extra small to extra large i'll supply all those um details you need to make the top for your size and you'll see those measurements at the top of the screens as you're working along. So let's begin. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. So I'm working with my thread that's been doubled. So that basically means that I'll be working with two balls of yarn or skeins of yarn or should I say thread at a time. So with my thread, I'll form a slip knot using my three millimeter hook, chain 140. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue to 140 chains. I now have 140 chains. So at this point, I'll join the chain that's attached to the hook to the first chain. And when doing so, make certain that this entire chain is not tangled or twisted. Join with a slip stitch. Round one, chain four, one, two, three, four. Chain four counts as a triple crochet. And here we'll be working triple crochets into all chains. So to work a triple crochet, it's yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop, Yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. And you'll continue with triple crochets into all chains to the end of the round. So 
So as I'm working round one and working those stitches, at the same time I'm counting my stitches and I'll be placing four stitch markers into my stitches for round one. And um, where those stitch markers need to be placed, I will provide it in the next clip. As you see here, I've worked 20 stitches and I've placed uh, my stitch marker into the 20th stitch. And then I'll work further on and my next, next stitch marker will go into the 50th stitch. So when I get to the 50th stitch, I'll place my next stitch marker and so on until I have four stitch markers marking off my yoke. And those stitch markers marks off the four corners of the yoke, dividing the yoke into the front body, back body, and sleeves or armhole spaces. I'm at the end of round one, having worked all those triple crochets across. So here, into the fourth chain, from chain four, I'll slip stitch to join. Round two, chain four, one, two, three, four. Chain four counts as one double crochet and chain one and turn. So here I'll skip the next stitch and into the next one, I'll work a double crochet. To work a double crochet, it's yarn over. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Then it's chain one, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And you'll continue with the stitch pattern to the first stitch marker. I've worked my way and I'm at stitch marker one. So I've double crocheted, then I'll continue with the pattern, chain one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. And you'll see my next stitch is the one marked by stitch marker one. So here I'll chain one and into that stitch marked by stitch marker one, I'll work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into that same stitch. I'll move my stitch marker, placing it into the chain one space. Then like I've done on this side before this first corner, um, where I work the double crochet directly before the corner, um, I'll chain one on this side and I'll work my double crochet directly after this corner. So our four chain one spaces marked by the stitch markers become our four corners. And that's how it would look. Then you'll continue with chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next stitch to stitch marker two. I've continued on and I'm at stitch marker two. I've worked my last stitch into that stitch right by the one that's marked by stitch marker two. I've also chained one. So into that stitch marked by stitch marker two, I'll work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the one stitch. I'll move my stitch marker into the chain one space that I've just worked. Now you see, I've worked my double crochet before the corner into that stitch right before my corner. So on this side, I'll chain one and work my double crochet into the stitch right after that corner. Then 
Then let's continue with the pattern. We'll chain one, skip one, double crochet to stitch marker three. I've continued on and I'm at stitch marker three. So here I've worked a double crochet and I've worked a chain one and I'm at that stitch marked by stitch marker three. So into that stitch, I'll work a double crochet chain one double crochet all into that stitch i'll move my stitch marker and i'll place it into this chain one space then it's chain one and like i've done on the other side where i work my double crochet directly next to my corner i'll work the double crochet into that next stitch directly after the corner then i'll continue on with my stitch pattern which is chain one skip one double crochet into the next stitch i'll continue to my fourth stitch marker i've worked my pattern sequence and i'm at the fourth stitch marker so i've worked the last double crochet then it's chain one and i'm at the stitch marker into that stitch marked by the stitch marker i'll work a double crochet chain one double crochet all into that same stitch and i'll place my stitch marker or move my stitch marker into the chain one space now like how i've done on this side where my double crochet is directly after this corner i'll chain one and work a double crochet into the next stitch directly after the corner then i'll continue with the pattern with the chain one skip one double crochet to the end of the round i'm at the end of round two with one stitch to go so i've worked my double crochet i have i'll chain one and i'll join into the third chain from chain four i'll slip stitch to join round three chain four one two three four chain four counts as a triple crochet and turn so here we're working triple crochets into all chain one spaces and triple crochets into all stitches so that's the double crochets from the round before and you'll continue to the first stitch marker I've worked my way to stitch marker one. So then I'll work, I've worked my triple crochet into the chain one space. I'll work a triple crochet into the stitch just before the chain one space marked by my stitch marker. Into the chain one space, I'll work a triple crochet chain one triple crochet all into that chain one space i'll also replace that stitch marker into the chain one space that i've just worked and then it's a triple crochet into that triple crochet just after the chain one space And I'll continue with my pattern, working triple crochets into the chain one spaces and triple crochets into all stitches to stitch marker two. I'm at stitch marker two and I've triple crochet all across. 
So into the chain one space marked by stitch marker two, I'll work a triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet all into that space. And I'll replace my stitch marker into the chain one space that I've just walked. Then it's continue with triple crochets into all stitches and chain one spaces to stitch marker three. I'm now at stitch marker three and I've worked those triple crochets all across. So here, I'm right at this chain one space. Into the chain one space, I'll work a triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet all into that space. And I'll replace my stitch marker into this chain one space that I've just worked. So then it's continue with triple crochets into all stitches and chain one spaces to the fourth stitch marker. I'm at stitch marker four and I've worked those double or triple crochets. So here again, I'll triple crochet into that chain space, triple crochet into the triple crochet just before the stitch marker, and into that chain space I'll work a triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet and I'll replace my stitch marker into that chain one space. So again I'll continue with triple crochets into all stitches and triple crochets into all chain spaces. I'm at the end of round three and I've worked those triple crochets all across. So to complete the round, it's into the fourth stitch from chain four, slip stitch to join. So I've continued on completing the yoke. Um, I've repeated round two and round three and the armhole depth measures 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches and that's the armhole depth for the size i'm making which is a medium i will provide a clip showing armhole depths for the other sizes um, if you choose not to you go with those measurements um, which i've gotten from um, craft yarn council's website you could fit on the yoke and make certain that it ends in line with the underarm and then you'd know your yoke is complete. We'll now continue on with the body. I've chained four and worked triple crochets all across to that first stitch marker. So I'll work a triple crochet into that um, chain space marked by the stitch marker. And then it's chain three, one, two, three. And I'll join to stitch marker two on the other side, skipping the stitches in between. 
I'll join into that uh, space marked by the stitch marker with a triple crochet. Continue with triple crochets into all stitches and into all chain spaces to the um, to stitch marker three. I've worked my way to the third stitch marker. I'll work a triple crochet into that stitch marked by the third stitch marker. Then it's a chain three, one, two, three, and join to the fourth stitch marker or chain space marked by the fourth stitch marker, skipping all the stitches in between and I'll work a triple crochet into that space marked by the fourth stitch marker. Then I'll work triple crochets to the end of the round. I've completed round one, working triple crochets to the end and I've slip stitched into the fourth chain from chain four to join. So I've continued on with the body and I've repeated round two and three just as I had done for the yoke. Um, I've worked the body to just below the bust because it is a crop top. So work to the length that you're looking for by repeating round two and round three. And um, I just fastened off and cut off the excess yarn. Don't forget to um, continue with the pattern sequence, like you're following your round of triple crochets and then it's your round of double crochets, chain one, skip one double crochet just to continue with that sequence moving on to the shoulder strap or band so here i am and this is the top of the neckline if you look at it i hope that it's clear enough so here if you look at my stitch pattern and um you'll see round two is clearly visible you will find that double crochet, chain one, double crochet, where we had had our stitch marker. So, and into that, right at the top, you'll find a stitch, a triple crochet. So I'm going to mark off that stitch. That's just to give me, that's my guide for the band. And now here you'll decide on the uh, width of band or strap you're looking for so i'm just going to use five stitches for mine you could go up to seven or even nine to make it any wider so as i said i'm going for five stitches and that's the what i'm looking for so on either side of that stitch marker i'll count one two stitches on the one side I'll place my stitch marker and then it's one, two, and into that stitch I'll place my stitch marker. I can remove the center stitch marker as it's no longer needed, and that's going to be the width of my band. So it's one, two, three, four, five stitches. Okay, so attach your yarn to the first stitch marker on one side. Then it's chain one into that same stitch as chain one, single crochet, which is insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. And then it's work, continue to work single crochets into the next few stitches to the next stitch marker. So that for me in total would be five stitches.
So that's round one complete. Then it's chain one and turn. Into the same stitch as chain one, single crochet, and then it's single crochets into the remaining stitches. That's round two complete. And here on after, until we reach the length that we're looking for, we'll continue to repeat round two, which was the chain one, turn, single crochet into the same stitch as chain one, single crochet into the remaining stitches. And there you see our band or strap is coming along nicely. I've completed the band at the shoulder. So at this stage before fastening off, make certain that it's able to fit around to the other side of the shoulder. And when you do fit it on, it's a comfortable fit. It isn't too tight or too loose. Um, so once you've got the length correct, you can just fasten off, um, leaving a long enough tail to help with the seaming. So that's going to be fine. So with your yarn needle attached to the thread on the tail end of the thread, you'll join from the one side of the shoulder to the next, centralizing it to that, um, the stitch that's um, right there into that chain, uh, uh, sorry, straight in line with the chain one. So we're going to centralize that and I'll just seam the band to the shoulder. And it's fasten off. And that's done. So you'll repeat this process on the other side. And once that's complete, your crop top is done. All you need to do is to weave in all these ends.